Just a bit of background about the solution. It has been designed on the Microsoft Power Apps platform, and this was primarily done to uh, provide clients with a turnkey solution based on uh, a number of interviews we did across our client uh, base and, and industry. And the solution would comprise the typical onboarding steps required uh, for a wide variety of businesses in the market space, but you do have the flexibility to customize the solution as you see fit as well. So some of the dependencies for the solution would be that all of the users of the actual onboarding solution have to have a business standard, a business premium or enterprise license on the Microsoft 365 tenant. We need a developer license or an account uh, installed for the developer uh, of the actual solution to go in and configure the solution for you, which is uh, a company called the Mint Group, which is a Microsoft partner that we've partnered up with for this particular solution. We would require a single Power Automate license that is used to drive all of and trigger all of the, the flows in the automate uh, part of the solution. And then lastly, the solution comprises a JOT form, which is the employee facing component of the solution, uh, which is free for up to 100 submissions per month. So if I can flick across to the uh, actual onboarding dashboard, which resides within your SharePoint environment, as you can see, very neat the dashboard that basically holds all of the candidate details uh, and at a glance, you can see where a candidate is within the actual onboarding process. So you have the option of creating new candidates manually by clicking on the new button within the actual particular SharePoint form, or if you've got an upstream solution in terms of a, a recruitment solution, such as Breezy, then you have the option to actually integrate directly into this onboarding solution so that the candidate details are passed down to the solution without you having to recapture those. We are busy with Breezy in terms of an integration uh, that I've just described, and we should have a, a solution for all of our Breezy customers uh, in January 2023. So if you did have an upstream recruitment solution, for example, I'm just going to use a tool set here that allows me to mimic the actual feeding of that information down into our onboarding module. So for example, here, you know, I sort of take an example that Max Verstappen, for example, has signed an offer to uh, an, an offer letter, so, so to speak. And now we have dragged him into the hired pipeline within Breezy or marked him as hired, in which case Breezy is going to fire off these details into our onboarding solution and notify our HR administrators that Max is now needs to be onboarded into our solution. So instead of manually capturing that information, you'll see over here, for example, that Max will automatically be pre-populated into the solution, pop up at the top of the list so that it highlights to HR which is the new candidate that has been sent down to us, and HR will also be notified via email as well. Uh, when that happens, HR can go and edit the particular candidate's record, and you'll see here is the information that just flowed down from the recruitment solution, and go and populate all of the information that is necessary to create a contract of employment and to specify where the employee will be created within PaySpace if you've got multiple legal entities. We use a uh, solution internally, so as you can see over here, we hire into two different legal entities. You specify typical uh, fields like department, position title, start, dates, end dates for contract type workers, typical monthly salary, and this is where you would select all of the predefined uh, templates, contract uh, templates that you have within your business uh, that is applicable to the solution. So if you've got different flavors of employees that require different clauses within the employment contracts, this is where we would upload those, and these will be automatically created by the onboarding solution using a type of mail merge concept and sent to the employee in order to sign and, and send back to us. So once HR has completed this information uh, and you've selected your appropriate template over here, the employee would then receive an email similar to this one, which is a, an example of one we've designed within PaySpace, where you have the option to go and customize the actual text as you see in this email to suit your environment. So within PaySpace, uh, we require employees to fill out a number of forms. You know, for example, we do background checks on all, all our employees. So here is a consent form related to the background check. The Department of Labor requires us or the employee to fill out a form confirming their race and gender. And of course, this is the pre-populated contract of employment that gets generated by the onboarding solution and pre-populates all of those fields that I spoke of earlier uh, directly into the template without any manual intervention. So uh, the employee would then 
uh, once they've sort of uh, gathered all of the information uh, specified in, in the actual email. So as you can see over here, we start preparing them to just get together the information highlighted here. They would click on an onboarding link over here, which would then take them to an electronic form where they are able to complete all of their personal details and other details necessary for us to create them uh, a profile within PaySpace and pay them accordingly. So I'm just going to flick to a pre-populated form over here. But as you can see, this is very user intuitive, uh, mobile friendly, and requests all of the details that we would require, you know, typically in a manually paper-based uh, process as well. So, you know, you would you would typically send out uh, a paper based pack to the employee to complete. This is all of the information they can now complete electronically so that the HR administrators do not have to recapture all of that information into pay space. So the employee would then work through all of the tabs, as you can see on screen, uh, account numbers in terms of banking details. And then most importantly, they have the option to upload electronically all of the information that we've asked them to prepare for us, including the contract of employment. Once the employee has completed this, uh, HR will get notified via an email that looks very similar to this, just uh, notifying them that the candidate has completed that electronic information. They would then navigate back to the solution over here and go and edit that employee. And at any point in time, you can see the statuses are being updated depending on where the employee is in that particular process, right? So if I were then to click on the candidate tab, you can see this is the information in electronic format that the actual employee has completed uh, on that job form link. You know, the uh, address details are in the SARS prescribed format and fields. And most importantly, all of the attachments are now sitting on this employee's profile within his onboarding record. You as the business also have the option to go and add additional supporting documentation and to send out, most importantly, additional uh, documentation uh, to the employee that they are required to complete. Once HR have reviewed this information, just to make sure that the information is legitimate, they then would be in a position to actually create the employee in pay space, pay space by simply clicking on a workflow link within this particular form uh, to update or to create the employee within pay space. The HR administrator would then navigate uh, that to pay space, log in, search for the new employee and complete all of the payroll related information that is required to complete their profile as a fully fledged employee within pay space so that we can onboard them and that would typically be things like uh, you know your earnings and deductions company contributions those types of things as i've mentioned you've got the option to customize the solution as well so in our environment we've got two hr administrators that then uh, have the responsibility, let's call it, to, uh, you know, sort of action all of these items within this dashboard. But our HR, uh, HR manager, rather, wanted an approval step. And what we did there is we actually customized the solution to build into Teams what we call an adaptive card that Teams prompts our HR manager when a contract is about to be sent out to an employee. She would be able to go and click on the actual employment contract, which is a word based version of the contract and just go make sure that all of the information is there's pertinent to the employee and that the HR administrators have captured all of the fields accurately and by approving it within this adaptive card there'll be two buttons down here uh, the process will continue so you've got this option to customize it uh, to your needs you've also got the option to actually uh, build out certain notifications to responsible areas like IT to provision for example an AD login or a laptop or security security for an access card to a particular office park or building. So that is it in a nutshell. If you've got any questions, please, please feel free to reach out to our sales team and they'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much.